All right, guys. So welcome back to the channel. Uh, I decided to today to do a fun video to do a tier list on the top certifications that are network engineering specific. So um, there's going to be a tier list. So going from S to D, and we're basically just going to rank the certifications in terms of, and here's the standard we're going for. It's going to be return on investment. So ROI. So which one of these certifications gives you the best ROI as a network engineer. So that's the main focus. It's not about what you're learning. It's not about, um, obviously the skill set you're learning is also important, but I'm talking about the skill set, obviously, but also how much, how valuable is this in the job market? That's also what is very important as well. So that's what we're looking for. And we're looking in the perspective of a CCNA. Okay. So the first one we have here is uh azure network engineer um this certification i'll be honest i haven't seen anyone have it um it's basically what it is it's a cloud certification that's geared towards network engineering it's like they said this is there's different levels to it um cloud certifications cloud network engineering certifications are i would say are nice to have but it's not like oh my god like this guy has a Azure Network Engineer certification. He's so hireable, but you are learning a lot of cool things. I'm pretty sure you're learning about VPCs and subnets and all that cool stuff when it comes to cloud networking. Um, but in terms of value, um, I, I wouldn't recommend this certification if your goal is to become a network engineer. Uh, I can kind of see it if you want to get into cloud networking um, and you're already kind of in the in the field of network engineering. You want to move towards cloud, um, but I yeah, I, I would probably move it to C based off of that, but yeah, C would probably be the move. Um, but next certification, Network Plus. So CompTIA has a certification that's geared towards network engineering. Um, and it's called the Network Plus. I think it's like 300 something dollars, 360, I don't know, whatever it is. But this certification is cool. The only issue is that most network engineers I talk to, they don't have the certification. And most hiring managers don't care for the certification. So it's, it's, I guess it's just certification. If you're a complete beginner, you have no idea about networking. You don't know if you want to get into network engineering. You don't know. Maybe you just want to learn about networking so you can get into cybersecurity. That's the use case for the certification. But if your goal is to become a network engineer, I don't recommend the certification because there's another certification that has way better value in my opinion. Um, but with that being said, it's still a good certification because I know a lot of people use have it. Um, CompTIA, everyone knows CompTIA, so it's well known. So that well known factor can definitely help. So I would probably put it either C or B based off the value of it. But and if your goal is to become a network engineer, it's definitely C tier because it's not going to, it's going to be difficult for, you for, difficult for you to land a job with just a network plus. So I'll definitely put it C tier. Uh, next certification is the Aruba Mobility Professional, which is a Aruba specific certification. I'll be honest, guys, I would not recommend this certification. Um, I'm pretty sure you do want learn about Aruba systems and all that. But the issue with Aruba is it's not well known. Most of the industry, as we will talk about soon, is mostly Cisco. So having an Aruba certification, which is very vendor specific, I wouldn't recommend it. That's why I put it in D tier. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of value in that certification. But in my case, I've never seen anyone that had it. And, and here's the thing. Whenever you guys are getting certifications, it's not about the material learning because you can learn the material outside of the certification. So clearly it's not about the material. It's about the marketability of the certification. For example, um, would you rather go to Harvard or go to University of Florida if if they both have the same level of, of education or hypothetically, let's say Harvard had a worse education. Would you rather go to Harvard or would you rather go to University of Florida? You would still go to Harvard for the status. And at the end of the day, the whole point of certifications is to add status to your resume. And Aruba, Aruba is just not going to give you much status to your resume. So that's why I put it as a D tier because it's just not beneficial. Next certification, Security Plus. Really good certification if you want to get into cybersecurity. Also really good if you want to get into network security. So it definitely has a lot of um, you know, value in it. But it's this is tough for me to rank because this is a security certification. If I were wanting to go to, if you were to go to cybersecurity, this would be like S tier or A tier. But as a network engineer, if your whole goal is to get into network engineering, 
it'd probably be C tier because it is network security specific. Although if your goal is to get into network security, it's definitely going to be A or B tier. So it's really, I'll put it in B tier because I definitely think that security plus has more value than network plus, but then it's like, oh, you want to be a network engineer. So network plus has more value. So it's kind of confusing. Um, and like I said, these kind of feel out of place. So I, I don't know. I'll come back to this. I'll put it here. Um, so we have advanced network specialty by AWS. So AWS also has a network, um, a cloud networking engineering, um, certification. Um, it's really good. It, this is the advanced version. I'm, I'm pretty sure Azure has her own as well. So Azure, you know, Azure or, or AWS, that's like the great debate. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, as long as you have experience in one of them, I feel like you can jump into both. Um, but from what I've seen, people say that the AWS one has more value. That's why I'll put it a little bit above the Azure one, but obviously they're both equal the same, but I'll just put Azure here or AWS here, just cause it, I believe it to have a little bit more value and people say it's, you know, and, and AWS has the market demand in cloud anyway. So it makes more sense to, to get the, to the AWS one. But like I said, it doesn't really matter between AWS and Azure. They're both really good certifications, especially if you want to get to that cloud networking role, um, really good certification. So next certification, the Cisco CCNA. So this is the certification I got to become a network engineer. So in terms of value in becoming a network engineer, I think this is going to be S tier uh, because it, it, it covers everything that a beginner needs to know as a network engineer. It gives you a vendor to use. People say, oh, it's vendor specific. Cisco dominates the market. Of course, it's going to be, of course, it's going to be Cisco specific. And the most important part with the CCNA is everyone has the CCNA. Everyone I talk to as a network engineer, they focus on the CCNA. It's the primary certification that a lot of people end up getting because uh, it, it's, it's just so valuable. So I definitely recommend getting a CCNA. If your ultimate goal is to become a network engineer, this is the highest, in terms of value, the highest value certification you can get. Right. And it's not even that expensive. I mean, you're still $300. That's very expensive, but it's cheaper than a network plus. So in, in my opinion, it's a no brainer because network plus you're paying a lot of money for it. And the value of it is not as high as a CCNA. So if you ask anyone, they said, do you have a network plus or a CCNA? The CCNA has way more value. So there's no reason to get both. So I, I know a lot of people ask me, Hey, should I get the network plus or the CCNA? I say, just get the CCNA. Cause it, it, it overpowers the network plus there's nothing in the network plus that the ccna doesn't have but the ccna has more stuff than the network plus and it gives you a vendor to work with and not actually understand so like i said i believe this to be more valuable than this because it's cheaper number one and it has way better value and i'm looking at the prices now network plus is 369 which is crazy um but yeah that's insane um so i don't recommend that because ccna is just way cheaper so CCN is going to be S tier. Next certification, we've got the GNCI Juno. So GNCI, if you guys don't know, it's based the GNCI, GNCI A is the Juno specific certification for, um, for Cisco or for Juniper. So if you guys don't know, Juniper is actually pretty big in the market as well. A lot of people do know Juno's. It's a really good certification. I'll put Juno's GNCI as A tier because it covers a lot. It gives you experience in the Junos architecture. If you guys are not familiar with Junos, uh, it happens to be my favorite CLI to work with is on Junos OS. Uh, it's my, I like it better than Cisco, in my opinion. Um, and their certification, this one is pretty much on par with the CCNA level, uh, the GNCI and the CCNA. I think the CCNA is a little bit harder, but this certification still has a lot of leverage. A lot of people know it. And the best part is this certification is very cheap. So if you go to Juniper's website, you take their, you just do the, like their exam. You can get this certification and only pay $50 for it. So it's like a super cheap certification and it gives you just as much, not as much cachet as what a CCNA would give you, but it's still very valuable. So I would definitely put Juno's as a tier. It's really good. All right. Now we have GNCI or GNCI P. They're kind of confusing. So GNCI, um, I would put this also A tier, but then again, uh, it's tough to say. Uh, I mean, like I said, they're both Junos. Juniper has a lot of cachet, so I just put it there because Juniper just is really up there. So um, 
but is it worth a tier even though it's it costs four hundred dollars i don't know this is tough i mean and like i said that's that's the thing about this tier list it has like advanced certifications and then then associate level so it's kind of like ugh, like they're both kind of i'll just put them here uh but ccmp ccmp has a lot of value a ton of value in the market it's basically the ccna but on drugs way more harder a lot more difficulty level but in terms of respect in the industry high respect it does cost a lot of money and you do have to take two certifications but still cisco has a lot of demand and a lot of people may say oh you're shilling for cisco but this is what recruiters want this is what jobs if you're jobs if you're looking for a job these certifications have high value so why not get the certifications that give you high value um but yeah ccmp has a lot of value um the certification i'm working towards right now um maybe that's why i put it s here should i move it back to a i don't know uh but yeah i mean i i, I hate breaking these but I feel like it's just a fun thing to do. Next one is Palo Alto. So Palo Alto, if you guys don't know, is a firewall company. They have a really good um, firewall, like they're a really good vendor for firewalls. They have a lot of people use um, Palo Alto and a lot of people have it. So I'll definitely rank it as A tier because if your goal is becoming a network engineer or network security engineer, this certification is probably going to be one of the best to get because Palo Alto is like that market leader and it's like a really good certification to get so um but yeah i would put palo alto as a tier and then security plus all right i'll just move it to to b tier there we go so hopefully that covers um everything uh, when it comes to certifications it may look like oh it's just cisco on the top but at the end of the day cisco is the market leader it has the most demand and most people know cisco like if, if you get a aruba certification why would you get that at the end of the day, guys, you get a certification because it's going to lead to a job. No one gets certifications to learn. Certifications are not learning. They're just a piece of paper to validate your skills because you can learn all this stuff, all everything here without a certification. But the certification is just, it's all about the value. And in terms of value for network engineers in specific, we're only talking about network engineers. And if that's the case, then I'll probably have to move this lower because this is network security. That's why this whole tier list is messed up. But okay, network engineering and network security. This is the list that we'll go with. And also cloud, I guess. But yeah, it, it, I don't know. You guys, this this could be deba debated as much as you want. Um, but yeah, this is my list. If you guys have any differences, please let me know. I'm curious to see how you guys would rank this particular list. But this is how I have it. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for reviewing my channel. If you found this very informative and fun, let me know. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, if you guys like the video, give it a like. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. And I want to thank all you guys for viewing. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And peace.